Blockbusters is sponsored by Thomas Cook. With your host, Bob Holness. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Hello, welcome to Blockbusters again. An enthusiastic welcome here in the studio. Where, sitting waiting to play the game, is our champion, Ready Eddie. Here he is. Ed Bennett from Royal Grammar School, High Wycombe. You're going to be such a famous person after this, you know, Ed. I hope so. Oh, yes. Well, I bet you do. He's our champion. He's surging away, hoping to win the next set of three. But Kirsty and Nipper are hoping he won't. That's Kirsty Smith and Mark Williams, who come from Hales Owen College in the West Midlands. Hello again to you two. Oh. Hello. Right, they've just met him a little while ago. In fact, we haven't, uh, we haven't played more than just the beginning of the first game in the set of three. But it's interesting that there's a, a start from both sides there. Blue have got two, white has the one, and it's Ed's turn to start, right? Okay, well, that's the situation. Let's get the cards arranged. Turn to them all and say, right, Ed, which letter do you want? R, please, Bill. Ah, here we go. Everybody, what R is a sporting best, a criminal history? Yes, Kirsty? A record. That's right. Good answer. <laughs> or a written account. Record was the right answer. Gives you the a... first choice of the game. I have an I, please, Bob. Okay, over on the right. What I is the chemical element of which... Yes, Ed? Iodine. No, Ed, it's not. A bit hasty you were there. Kirsty and Nippa. What I is the chemical element of which a deficiency in the diet causes anemia? Yes, Nippa. Iron. It's iron. You're right. Well done. <laughs> so, four blues to one white. And your choice again. Um, I'll have a K, please, Bob. Okay. Do you know what K is the county in the Republic of Ireland where... Kirsty? Kerry. No, you took a chance. It didn't come off. Ed, what K is the county in the Republic of Ireland where the National Stud and the headquarters of horse racing are situated? No, I don't know. Nope, it's County Kildare. County Kildare. Another. What K is the surname of the captain of the starship with the registration... <laughs> yes, Ed. Kirk. It's Kirk. James D. Kirk, of course. I've got the registration number. I wasn't going to tell you what the starship was called. Do you know the registration number of the good ship Enterprise? No? Well, for future reference, it's NCC 1701. So if you happen to see a starship and it's got that on it, you'll know who it belongs to. Right, we have four blues and two whites, and it's your turn, Ed. A, please. An A. What A are you said to be in when you get behind with regular payments? Yes, Kirsty. Arrears. Arrears is right again. Good. <laughs> and one looks at the board and senses a challenge to our champion here. Yeah? They're deciding which to go for next. Uh, we'll have a C, please, Bob. A C to try and link those together at the top. And here's the question. What C is 100th part of a ket... <laughs> yes, Ed? Cent. Whew, you took a chance. Yes, you've got it. It's the right answer. <laughs> No, it's nothing to do with American money. One hundredth part of a Kenyan shilling, a Dutch gilder, a South African runt, and a US dollar. Yes, right at the end there. So there we are. He got that one. He's broken that chain and given himself the choice. S, please. S. What S are the periods of work when employees... Yes, Kirsty. Shift. Yes, that's right. They are shift. Well done. When employees clock on from 6 till 2, 2 till 10, etc., etc. Shifts it was. Kirsty's got the choice. I'll have a B, please, Bob. All right. B. What B is the colour referred to as sable in heaven? Yes, Ed. Black. Yes, it is right. Well done. Black. <laughs> Look at that mix-up. What next? H, please. H get the link at the top. What H 
describes Kim Wilde's love according to the title of her 1992 hit single. Kirsty. Higher. No. Ed, what H describes Kim Wilde's love according to the title of her 1992 hit single? Hidden. Holy. No, not higher nor hidden, but holy. What H goes before? Goods, name, yes, Ed. It's going to say hired. No, nope, you would have said wrongly. Kirsty and Nippa, what H goes before goods, name, hint, and management for four things domestic? Yes, Nippa. Household. Household is what's on the card. Well done, yes. <laughs> household goods, household hint, household management, etc. Right, look at that lot. Now, where next? Um, an O, please. An O right down on the bottom corner, okay. What O was the name of the American state, which was the end of the... <laughs> yes, Nippa? Oregon? Cool. Yes, it is. Oregon. <laughs> Whatever happened to Oklahoma or Ohio, you got Oregon, you must have sixth sense. It was the end of the Pioneer Trail from Independence, Missouri, the Oregon Trail. Good, you've got the choice. Um, a D, please. Right, you saw the blue flash. It means that you've got a chance of getting across there. And Ed's going to try and stop you with all his might. Of what D do Zealand, Jutland and Lolland form... Yes, Ed. Denmark. Yes, you've got it right. You've stopped them. Well done. <laughs> and you've got, you've got a flashing white light yourself, which means you can make the connection if you try. And if we look very carefully, we'll see that it's almost a blue as well, but not quite. Right, what's yours? N, please. What N goes before French, Arch, Cross, and Conquest? Yes, Ed? Norman. Yes, well thought out. That's right, Arthur. Well, there we are. He just nipped it at the end there. It was a very good game indeed, as is proved by the amount of money. Uh, you may not know, of course, that Ed, our champion, has done two go runs. He got some very good prizes. He's hoping to go for his third. He's got one game towards it. He's got £160. In money terms, Kirsty and Nipper, although they only joined us a short while ago, have £40 each already. And I did mention, didn't I, at the uh, near the end of the last show, when they joined us, there was a thump as one of the mascots fell onto the ground. We can now see why he's called Bertie. I couldn't. I could only see his feet before. There he is. I'd like to hold him up to the camera so we can all see him properly. There he is, yes. A certain Mr. Bassett sits there. Okay, pop him back on top. Is he yours, Nipper? No, he's a friend of mine. Is he? Jolly, nice. Yes, very nice indeed. And the other mascots are yours, are they, Kirsty? Yes, they are. Yeah? Names? Uh, Reggie the Courgette. Yeah? And <laughs> Spot the Dog. And it's Blanky the Security Blanket. Do you often carry a courgette around with you? All the time, All the time. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. We get some peculiar people on this show. <laughs> there they are. Right. Uh, let's go, shall we? We've got to go into the second game. Don't forget, this is the one the double team have to win to draw level. G is flashing. So, let's go. What G are the plant-sucking insects, which are a pest in the garden, especially on... Yes, Ed? Green fly. Yes, you've got it. Well done. <laughs> a very interesting habit of, of, of thinking deeply before your answer. <laughs> They're nearly always right, too. What's next? H, please. H underneath. Right, stand by all three of you. What H was the first name common to Lord Kitchener, the British soldier, Captain... Mm. Yes, Nipper. Um, Henry? <laughs> no. You'll find out why you were wrong when you hear the whole question. Ed, what H was the first name common to Lord Kitchener, the British soldier, Captain Hornblower, the fictional character, and Lord Nelson, the Admiral? Horatio. Horatio is the right answer. Yes. <laughs> the last picture we've given it to you. It's given you another white and the choice. Oh, please. Ah! Just joined us, have you? Haven't seen the series so far. You won't know then that we have a gold card to that name, which it turns out to be a bonus question. Watch how it works. Anybody can solve this. What O is the name of the Royal House of the Netherlands and the French town in which it originated? Yes, Ed. Orléans. No, it's not. Kirsty and Nipper, think about this. What O is the name of the Royal House of the Netherlands and the French town in which it originated? Yes, Kirsty. Orange. The House of Orange. You've got it spot on. Well done. 
Now, here's the difference, you see. She now gets a general knowledge question. It has nothing to do with blockbusters, but it does earn her five pounds if she gets it right. And I can't pass it over. It's just to you, Kirsty. The family name of the Monaco royals is Grimaldi. True or false? False. True. <laughs> you don't get the five pounds, but you do get the choice of the next letter. Okay, an, off we go again. I'll have an M, please, Bob. You'll have an M. What M are the bicuspid teeth? Yes, Ed. Molars. Oh, just in time. The buzzer was about to go. You've got it. That's a wife. <laughs> right, where now? E, please. Going over to the right-hand side with an E. So for all three of you. What E is to live away from one's home state or country? Yes, Ed? Emigrate. No, it's not. Kirsty and Nipper, what E is to live away from one's home state or country or sometimes a political punishment meted out by governments? Yes, Kirsty. Exile. Exile is the word. That's the blue. Three whites, two blues. Kirsty's choice. Life ambition, I'll have a P, please, Bob. <laughs> okay. Quite welcome. What P is the name of the famous London street which runs from high... Yes, Nipper. Piccadilly? Yes, Piccadilly is the answer. <laughs> Hyde Park Corner to Eros in the circus of the same name. Piccadilly. So, where next, please? Um, you, please, Bob. With the colours level, we go for a U. What U is the Latin word and technical name for the navel? Yes, Ed. Umbilica. No, nope, can't, like nope, can't give it to you. No, we pass it across to Kirsty and Nipper. What U is the Latin name and the Latin word and technical name for the navel? Yes, Kirsty. Umbilical. No, no. You're both so close. It's um, umbilicus. It's the U.S. at the end that was absolutely precise. Let's go for another. What U is a small open sore which occurs in the mouth? Yes, Ed. Ulcer. It's an ulcer. You're right. Let's see. Where next? S, please. Mm -hmm. Try and make a block of whites if you can. Of what S? Are hypnos and somnos? Yes, Ed. Sleep. Good grief. Yes, you're right. Well done. <laughs> so why did the answer sleep? Why did you answer sleep? Um, I think it was the hypnos. It's the, the, god, god. the god of sleep. The god, you're right. They were gods. Greek and Roman mythology. Well answered. Where's the next one? A, please. Okay, A. Yes, of course, you had the light. So everybody, he had the light, so watch this very carefully. What A is another name for garments, especially when used Ed? Attire. Not in this case. It goes across to the other two. What A is another name for garments, especially when used in conjunction with riding? It's gone. It's riding apparel. Not riding a tyre, but riding apparel. Here's another. All three of you. What A are the yearly records of events? Hmm, Kirsty. Agenda? No. What if you know, Ed? What A are the yearly records of events, usually kept in chronological order? Is it annals, Bob? It is annals, and that's Blockbusters! <laughs> You know, I remember a certain programme that if he'd said, is it annals, Bob, and I was doing it then, I would have said, are you asking me or telling me? Got over top of the form. Well, that's it. Now, we've got to say goodbye, haven't we, to Kirsty and Nipper. 55 pounds, they zonked across the board, didn't you? It was very good. I'm sorry we're not going to see more of you. I wanted to talk about all sorts of things, like the, the things you want to do later, but I haven't got time, unfortunately. Never mind. I do know that uh, Kirsty's got two loves, France and chocolate. So I hope you've managed to visit France while eating a bar of chocolate sometime in the near future. Thank you for being with us. £55 plus, of course, the T-shirts and, of course, the Blockbuster Encyclopedia. You'll love it. Thanks very much. A big round of applause for them both, please. <laughs> As Kirsty Smith and Mark Williams from Hales Owen College in the West Midlands, we have a gold run to do. It's a third gold run. And Ed is sitting there preparing himself and he's got to do a bit more preparing for a couple of minutes because we're taking a break. Don't miss it. We'll be with you in a couple of minutes' time.